A slightly different video today. Done right games. What is it doing wrong? G'day folks, Spackman here. Welcome back or to the channel if it's your first time. And that's right. Uh, done right games it's engagement and communication with us the you know the actual players the um, end users the community i feel has been lacking of late and before we do get into that i'm no expert in game development so i don't know what's going on behind the scenes and i, I don't you know I, I don't work in the marketing and social media industry but i do have some experience and knowledge in the area i studied business and management organizational culture development and I've been involved in running some volunteer community-based organizations and setting up a couple of businesses. And throughout, the, throughout those years, I was involved in social media. So uh, I know the basics and the backbone behind the whole thing, and it's very similar for almost all platforms. You need to be consistent. You need to keep putting content out. You need to be regular. You need to be engaged. You can maintain the relationships. Um, having gaps in your content and breaks and whatnot, it only delays the process and you sort of lose the momentum as you're growing along. And uh, a key example here, I'll, I'll put, point a few things out. So uh, in the YouTube videos, they really sort of peaked in uh, later last year, you know, uh, September through to November, December, when you had the Kickstarter, the WeFunder, big YouTubers putting out all those videos and beta was theoretically around the corner. Um, I Prime example is the copy done right videos. We're coming out every two to three weeks, and we haven't actually had one in the last three months now. So there's a big gap there, and and people are still trying to engage with the channel, but others are now telling them not to bother because of this very reason. And similarly, Instagram and all of the platforms haven't really had anything at all in the last four weeks. Um, Instagram not as profound as YouTube, but again, it has um, tapered off a bit from that sort of peak period last year. And it has entitled me stories on it for my, to my, lo my knowledge that I've been looking at of late either. And stories are meant to be where all the leaks are meant to be coming up and visible for people. And, and Twitter, same deal. We have the um, everything from that the gameplay four weeks ago and nothing since then. There were two retweets, actually. And thank you so much, Dunrate, for supporting me. They were to do with my content that I've been putting out. And I really appreciate that. I support you as well. Hence, actually, why I'm making this video. Um, but while this has been going on, Discord has been steadily and more consistently filling up with sort of spam comments, basically because people are ironically pointing out that we have no idea when, what things are happening, and there hasn't been much communication. So the soon and the this and next year are just on the they're almost escalating, really. And uh, I couldn't be bothered doing anything for when people are asking about updates and beta because it was too much of a pain to find out, to be honest. Anyway, now, I, um, looking at Done Right, one of the key things they sold to me on was their engaging and um, community-based approach to this. When, when the, the, organized, the, the idea was started by Jake back in the day, he actually put it out to his YouTube community, and it sort of really set the, the framework for how all of this was going to be um, going forward. And it applied a really sort of collaborate, collaborative approach between Jake and his inevitable company, whatever that might be, as well as the community, and a close-knit one at that. But as um, time has gone on, it's, it's, and especially in the recent, recent times, it's kind of stepped back a little bit. No, I don't believe that was intentional, of course. And uh, I believe that the intention is for the in, engaging and the close relationship is one of the basically the core values of Done Right Games. And we were also promised extra videos and leaks and content. And we have had some great leaks, but I don't think we've had the quantity that was really sort of implied way back in the day. And these are issues that I don't think normal companies or games would face this part of their journey. Um, even when they're in beta, I don't think they would. Although, again, not an expert. But the reason I say that is that Dunright Games, again, from an outside perspective, looks to have tried to differentiate itself from everyone else in the competition by being so engaging, having a strong community um, aspect, listening to its community and um, being so sort of, you know, closely tied to them and everything. Um, and I don't know whose job it is at Dunright Games, Jake Barto or someone else or all of the above to look after all of this. 
and maybe people are spread too thin or the focus is all on the game itself. But this isn't something to be um, neglected or forgotten about because it's a really important thing in the, the game's journey. And I don't want to sound like I'm coming down on done right games here. For those who have been watching my videos, I'm a huge um, supporter of the whole enterprise and the game and what they're doing, um, their vision and their plan for it. Um, it's why I've uh, put so much effort into this channel, into all of these videos, my analysis, um, the, both the Discord and my own personal Discord that I've set up. And uh, I also then think because I'm putting so much in, I sort of feel responsibility to then be uh, open and honest about, you know, critiques I have when I do have them. Particularly with this channel, if I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna grow it and I wanna end up becoming a big player in the Rift of Vigard community and the content creation scene, I think it's almost a duty for me to come out and say these sort of things when I think they're right and to do it in a positive manner, of course, which I'm hoping I'm coming across as here. So a few things I think can be done. Firstly, on the video front, I think at least every three weeks, considering the kind of content and the speed at which things are coming up back in the day, it really is important. They don't need to be long, sort of small things here and there. It could be, you know, uh, once every, once a month you have a, a random interview with one of the staff members. Um, we've already seen some design for some things. Maybe we can have a, a chat with a staff member in terms of why they designed it that way, um, uh, something, or more game, or more leaks. We don't have to have leaks. It's just an idea. Um uh, done right, um, copy done right, more of those. I don't particularly know, but I think it's a a necessary thing to do. Uh, Twitter, once every one or two days, could be anything on Twitter. It's quotes from the office, any new achievements in the project, happy birthday to someone, um, small snippets of whatever, you know, a plan for this, maybe an idea that was thrown out or something that's now confirmed, some old um, concept art, this or that, maybe some more competitions. I don't know. Something to build the engagement there again. Instagram, not an expert, so maybe once a week. I don't really know, but um, I'm sure you guys have some good people to coordinate that. But again, got to get back on those spaces, get active again. Uh, similarly, you could drop beta. I mean, I'm, I'm also, no, that's a, a sensitive topic, but that would negate this issue that I'm, I'm talking about right now. Uh, I'm happy to wait for beta, though. I'm, uh, I would love to play it, get involved in it, but there, there's no rush. I, I want it to be as great as you guys want it to be, of course. I just, I know that and believe that Done Right needs to get back in the online space and work on building its brand up. The bigger it gets, the more successful it gets, the better the game's going to be, the more people are going to play it. It just, the, the momentum is just constant, constant. It's why I started this channel when I did, knowing the game wasn't out at the time. But one, I wanted to get better at all this um, video making. And two, I wanted to start building that um, a follower subscriber base early because I know how hard it is to grow. And it's great to maintain that momentum. You know, done right did a stellar job earlier on, got, got really, you know, going and everything. And then things have just really plateaued and maybe even gone down a bit. I'm not quite sure. I don't know the numbers. So get back on there. Don't miss this opportunity to get ahead a of, well, ahead of yourself if you don't do it, basically, and um, make the most of this online space what, you know, that you'd have there for you. It's just to tap into. Also, I forgot to mention the Rift of Rye Guide Twitter, I think, is sitting there. Get that into action. It's just, I'm assuming you guys made it. It was created at the same time everything came out. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Is this too much to ask for? Am I being unreasonable? I, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, and I think it's uh, in in my place to say. But uh, again, yeah, let me know. Um, like the video, subscribe if you, you know, appreciate this and you want to stick around for all the other content coming in the future. Um, Discord, I just forgot to have it up. Um, it'll also be in the description down below. Jump into my Discord. Bunch of great stuff in there, especially once the game comes out and everything there. And hopefully we see a lot more Rift of Rygard content coming soon. And I also hope to see all of you guys soon as well. Cheers.